Good morning everyone, I hope that you're all well. This is a spot that I've picked because that is who I am and just waiting for it to heal. It's nothing more than a spot that is now just a bit of gross. Anyway, I'll be putting makeup on in a bit but I'm just sitting down having my first cup of tea of the day. Even though I should have done a let's get me a cup of tea. I didn't. Sue me. Um, today is Tuesday the 8th of June. Please don't sue me, actually. That's quite an expensive process to go through. Um, I'm currently drinking a cup of tea out of my new mug by Silver Spot Ceramics. I got another one. It's the same lovely lady, Emma, who made my mushroom mug. Oh, I say I'm obsessed. It's an understatement. Um, yes, I have a nice cup of Bird and Blend chocolate digestives this morning. Very nice. Um, yeah, I hope that you're all well. Sorry that I kind of went AWOL. My life got a little bit busy and I had a busy Wednesday and Thursday which meant I didn't have time to film a podcast for Friday. So a podcast was not filmed. And then Saturday I dyed up the yarn club and um, another advent colourway. So I couldn't have shared any of that with you. So I didn't vlog then. Which, you know, I think the the, the frequent three, three times a week thing might be slipping. Um, in case you can't tell, I'm currently bead weaving the Stitch Mucker Club because I have six and a half left to make. So I should probably get on that before my concentration wanes, which it, I tend to be pretty focused first thing in the morning. It's not first thing in the morning, what time is it? Quarter to nine. I tend to be pretty focused in the morning and then my concentration wanes and then I want to do anything else so try to make the most of the productive times um yeah so last night I um well yesterday I I can take this off I guess the other week it keeps changing um I found out about speed weaves found out about them through tiktok as all great things are and it's these nifty little things. So you've got hooks up here and you've got a little disc here. I think this one's plastic. And um, incredibly satisfying. But what they help with is darning socks. So I got all the socks that I needed to repair. This was the first one that, this red was the first patch that I did. And then this was the second. I used tweed yarn. That was a mistake because um, it was kind of hard to get it even because it was a bit lumpy bumpy. But yeah, this was the first first one I did. So that sock had two holes in. See? And then I did, what did I do next? This bit? This one? which is Mario's sock. You're like, why have all of your stuff got holes in? Well, first off, this has been accumulating over so long. Um, and secondly, we had moths in our old house. And whilst I kept my knits away from them the best I could and like put in um, like cedar blocks and stuff in my, with my knits, some managed to get through. I had two giant holes in this hat. Here is... Here they are, there's one hole. This was a bit of a difficult one to do because my speed weaver is quite small to do a patch of this size. Ooh, it's jazzy. And then I also found some other bits that were coming apart so I did a bit of duplicate stitching. But you can't tell because the yarn is speckled and I used dark grey, which I think is what was used in this yarn. So yeah, this has a nice little patch on it now. And then finished it up with my Ireland socks. where I actually still had some of the same yarn left, so it's not super obvious, but that was what I spent my evening doing yesterday, and you know what, it was actually a lot of fun, um, but once again I had to do this out of tweed yarn, so it's not the easiest to do, but I still have a sock left, I think I have only managed to wear this sock once or twice before I got a hole in the toe, so yeah, not, not ideal. Um, and I don't know how to darn normally, so it just made sense 
to treat myself. Um, yeah. So, at some point today, once I can be inclined, or maybe tomorrow, we'll see, because I do, I do actually need to package at some point. Fun. Um, I will be filming a video about speed weaving. Not from the perspective of an expert, but from the perspective of somebody who's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, done five patches. So yeah, I might either film that today or another day. Film that today or tomorrow, that'll be fun. Because whenever I looked for um, whether you could use speed weavers on hand knits, didn't find that many videos that were actually telling me if I could or not. So I thought I'd better make a video showing how I've been doing it in my non-expert opinion. Because this is not a perfect square. This is very much not. It's definitely an irregular square. But hey, you know what? It serves its purpose. It's functional. And now I can wear this hat again after ages of not being able to wear it. So that is not how you wear a hat. It's too hot. Anyway, I'm going to keep bead weaving for the Stitch Marker Club and yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. But I just thought I'd share that with you because um, yeah, so it arrived yesterday. And I also have a top that I need to mend, but I'm actually going to try and mend that so it doesn't look like it's been mended. I don't want to have like a great big patch in the middle of it. I might just try and mend it in a different way. Um, but yeah, I noticed that Knit With Attitude on Instagram recently, yesterday, posted that they've got them back in stock. So I got mine from an Etsy shop called Mission X Goods, who are in the Ukraine, I believe. And it took three weeks to get here, which I don't think is too bad, and it was free postage. And I didn't get charged customs, and yeah, it arrived with no issue, and they had a sale on in their shop, which is why I bought it, but yeah. I don't think it's an authentic speed weave, I think it's just one that they, that one that, you know, either they make or they have made and then sell. Um, but it works, so. Anyway, I'm not getting paid to sponsor them, so, um, there's been many here. I'm gonna keep bead weaving just for a little bit. face is still here I need to put something on this it's just it's just not attractive um I'm currently bead weaving the final stitch marker of the stitch marker club it is uh just gone 20 past 12 so it's been a good good chunk of time and that's gonna be very hot in that top room but you know what I have yarn to twist so we're gonna have to suck it up and open all the windows and whatnot because um it needs doing. I have advents to twist. I have yarn for the Saturday's shop update to twist. And I have the yarn club to twist. So there's not a whole lot I can do about it. So it needs doing. Unless I just bring it down. I suppose I could just bring it down here and um, set it up and plug it in somewhere. That would also make sense. But um, yeah, I could clear off this table and maybe clip it onto this table. Maybe. I don't know. don't know if it will be sturdy enough. Um, but yeah. It needs doing, so I'll try and give it a go in the top room, and if it's too hot, I'm just going to have to come down, because, yeah. I'm already feeling quite warm, but there's no windows open in this room, so. Um, what temperature is it currently? Can't only be 11 degrees. 19. So it's not too hot, but... Um, British houses are built to keep in the heat um, because it's generally quite cold and oh you can't tell what it is from this okay that's fine 
Um, I just waved around the stitch marker I was making, but you can't tell what it is yet because I've done one 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 row of it, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, British houses are built to keep in the heat, and I've got beads sticking to me, so they just get warm. And also, we're not built for warmth. I'm not built for warmth. So yeah, fun times. I need to get this done because then I need to package up the Yarn and Stitch Marker Clubs either tomorrow or what have you. I also was meant to pre-film a video for The Wall Monty, which is the yarn show that, the virtual yarn show that I'm taking part in on Saturday or this weekend, but um, I don't think I'm going to have time because I completely forgot that I needed to do it. I need to... I need to desperately get back to using a planner because my life is a shambles and I just can't remember anything from one day to the next. I'm just constantly distracted. Um, so if, if you ever email me about something and I don't get back to you, it's probably because I've read it before I've got out of bed in the morning and thought, I'll deal with that once I've got out of bed over a cup of tea. And then I've completely forgotten that I need to do it, so... And then all of a sudden a week has passed and then you just think I'm being rude. Maybe I just need to start setting alarms that say like, respond to email, even if I don't have one. <laughs> so I then remember to respond to the email on the days that I do have one. Any tips on how to improve memory would be fantastic because I can't seem to remember anything at the minute. Very annoying. Sorry, I just made a noise like a hissing cat. Speaking of cats, we haven't really had any in our garden in a really long time. So I don't know if the previous owners did used to feed the cats because they used they were here when we first moved here. But I don't know. They've stopped coming around, so maybe they've yeah. They've either learnt that because I don't believe in feeding other people's cats. That's not. I don't know, because they might require a special diet or whatever, and you know, whatever. I don't want to encourage other people's cats to stay away from their home and whatnot. Or there's someone nearby who is feeding the cats, and so they're all going there instead. But I do miss them a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking of, um, this sounds really stupid. I'm thinking of like making merch in like a kind of like merch I suppose but like getting t-shirts with the cat watch logo that Anna made here and maybe a let's go make a cup of tea logo. She's also designed one of those that I was thinking one would be cute on a mug or cute on a t-shirt. Um, but I don't know if that's a bit weird. I mean it might, it might be but in my head it would be super cute so. Anyway, I've just popped on here to give you an update on what's happening in my life. This is why I've not been vlogging as much, because I just don't really have anything to tell you. And I just felt like they were getting very repetitive, um, because my day-to-day -day is very repetitive. So, But I got a very sweet message from someone on Instagram today that says, thanks for all the videos, I'm really enjoying them. Very nice to hear, so thank you very much for that. Um, but yeah, I just felt like they were being <laughs> really repetitive and really boring and I didn't want to be really repetitive and really boring, but after this I will probably go and put some makeup on because I'm sick of looking at my lip that looks like this. <sighs> Frustrating. Anyway, I'm gonna finish a stitch marker and then I'll be back in a bit deedly. Hey folks, so Mary's just come home. And um, we're just going to nip into town and go to the bakery in town because Mary forgot to bring some rye bread home. We need it for a recipe for this evening. And uh, yeah, then I can start twisting. But I've put a bit of makeup on. Uh, uh, lesson has been learnt about not picking the lip spot. Not that it matters because I'm about to put a mask on. So, but yeah. Um, I still haven't worked out the exposure issue with this camera and going outside. So you won't come with me. But um, yeah, just to let you know that that is where I'll be going.
currently watching the finale of Critical Role. Critical Role Campaign 2 is coming to an end. And I'm also transferring my stitches from my provisional cast on onto my other knitting needle so I can come like join them up together. I forgot how much of a faff this is. Made worse by how dark this yarn is. Very difficult to see. Um, I'm also 90% sure that I've picked my stitches up the wrong way around. So I'm going to have to uh, fix that as I go round, which is going to be really annoying. Because I've got to knit two together the whole way around. Um, so yeah, there's no chance of me being able to do it as I knit, like knit into the back or anything. But yeah, what a faff. Anyway, oh well, that's my own fault for uh, just getting on with it. So I beaded some hedgehogs because I figured I need some more stuff for the warm one tea update. Um, I missed the deadline for getting my video in because I just completely forgot to do it. And um, the deadline was apparently Friday and I just completely forgot, so. I need to get my planner back in place so I actually remember to do things. Um, but yeah. Mary's currently making dinner. We're having black bean burgers with a salad. It'd be very tasty. Um, and yeah. I just want to get this next bit of the hat underwear because I do. I've dyed up some yarn to knit the jumper that I liked in Pom Pom. This jumper. A few of you suggested red, so I tried to dye red. It's more of a raspberry colour, but I'm still alright with it. It's a nice colour, so that's the colour I'm going to be knitting that out, knitting that out of. Yeah, that did make sense. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep trying to pick these stitches up and knit this a bit more because um, then I can finish this hat or begin to get it finished. But all my mohair keeps clinging to everything. It's just, it's annoying. But anyway, I'm going to press play on Critical Role and uh, yeah, get back to it. So I am four hours into the seven hour episode of Critical Role. So far, very good. Has not felt like I've been watching it for four hours. So that's mad. Um, I mean, I always skip the break. So I might have cut out a chunk of time then. I can't remember how long breaks are. But I've successfully connected my hat around and I'm now knit knitting straight and got my little panda to keep me company. But yeah, this is gonna keep my ears nice and warm. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe. I upload relatively frequently. Um, so it'd be lovely if you were to subscribe. We would love love to have you stick around join the party that is the corner of craft if you'd like to follow me on social media links can all be found in the description box below along with any other information that i think you might need oh my hair is having a party um and if you would like to leave me a comment down below let me know what you've been up to since i have last spoken to you last week it would be lovely to hear from you have you been having delightful weather where you are is it starting to cool down a bit where you are you know let me know i'm very nosy the vloggy check-in we love to see it and yes give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and with all that being said thank you so so much for watching it's been absolutely delightful spending the day with you and i will see you very soon in my next video bye